all the beats me go say impossible i'm me guys my name is taff 16 and welcome back to another episode another reaction i should say to robot wars the four fours bx kid has almost caught me i swear to god he's gonna catch me because i only do these once a moment he's doing it like every day he's gotten for the first four series brevers he's gonna be by the time i finish this he's gonna be a, like series six <laughs> uh but this is heat O. I believe this is the second to last heat i believe we got this and then heat p and two semifinals and then the final uh so let's go ahead and watch it all right let's go just two places to fill in our second semi-final to meet the likes of mousetrap no pit squeaks left back not mousetrap wild thing as well can anyone control and beat that and from the last heat, battling their way through, Exterminator 2 finally beating the seeded mighty Bermoff. So let's have more purveyors of pumping, penetrating punishment! Stop! Pause. Did you say pumping, penetrating punishment? Pause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the man with more enterprise than Captain Kirk. Oh my Ray god! Charles. There's many unexplained phenomena in the world, like poltergeists. They're the ones who throw crockery across the room. In fact, I think I mounted one. Well, there's the Bermuda Triangle, <laughs> the only place you can wear big, brightly coloured shorts and not look like an idiot. But most bizarre of all is Robot Wars. Why True. do so many people tune in to watch six remote-controlled wheelie things senselessly bash each other out? Because it's fun. Maybe because it's blooming good fun. Yeah, I so, you Who's go. explaining all this week? <laughs> As usual, Craig, the seeds kept apart. Overkill. Agrobot 2, number 20 against Smidzy. Panic number attack. Oh, yeah, here Oblivion. we go. Oblivion 2. Number 4 seeds panic attack against Smidzy back again. As our overkill GTI. They're now with Jules in the pits. Oh, but she's not in her brightly coloured Bermuda shorts. <laughs> what a shame. In the pits, we have three ferocious looking robots for the melee. Overkill GTI zooped up two pneumatic flippers at the front there. It's I said this before, but they probably wouldn't would allow that name nowadays. Panic attack. We have another team. It's not that big of a deal, but sorry, mate, I didn't see you. You know, just uh, that's the name of the people team. not trying to make fun of mental on this stuff. Uh, in leather, they probably keeping with the bikers. Now they met on the it's internet. Good name, that's though. when they decided to build the robot. And uh, we have some gnashing, ferocious jaws at the front there. Apparently, what's that made of? That's gas main. Um, <laughs> we picked it when they're digging up the road. It's so very it's fragile. Through Please through don't punch it. They wouldn't put pickaxes through the side of the robot. Well, let's hope not. How fast does it go? What are you oh, doing? We did 70 miles an hour. 70 miles? On the most way. Get out of here. And the panic attack team. I don't think there they really are. even Bro, need to Bro, I just turned my fans off like five Winners minutes ago and I'm already sweating. Awesome it's like 11 robot. p.m. Bad. did go out to Firestorm in the third, so potentially a grudge match there, we think. Uh, possibly, yeah. Um, we'll have to sort that one out. Um, our driving's a lot better now, so they can look out if we need Good. <laughs> well, let's get them through the melee first. And for one, the bell is tolling. Well, they've talked the talk, but can they walk the walk? Let the wars begin! I mean, technically not, because they're robots. But, you know. Unless it's now one of them crawler robots. This is a sturdy machine protected by bulletproof fiberglass under 18.6 kilos, the heaviest in the heat, no blades or knives, but forks electrically powered can raise hopes. of the second series, but in the third wars, they beat Axios, Choke Cutter, and Exterminator, and look good. Did you say champions? They won the second the series? Hello, we're Team Panic Attack. My name's Kim Davis, this is my son Michael, and this is Christian, and this is our robot, Panic Attack. We're back from the previous wars with a new chassis. We have uh, skirts. Let's stop the robots getting underneath. We have our self-writing mechanism. We have our weapon, which is very powerful. We've done it before, and we're going to do it again. Bad. Western Supermare Overkill GTI bus. Goes into yeah. overdrive with the power from Caravan Winch Motors, protected with the same insulation used in race drivers overall, so the same specs as nuclear power stations and space travel. What? Get into orbit in Series 3? No, they didn't even get past the first round. Damn. One, one were too destructive for overkill. Now they're GTI, can they go one step further? Oh. My name's Lawrence. This is Laurie, and this is James. And this is Overkill. From the last wars, we had a weapon which was uh, a petrol chainsaw. This year, 
we have hydraulic pneumatic rams. Okay. Two of, which combined give seven and a half thousand newtons. This should be enough to throw another robot clean into the air. Bet. I want to see it. Maidstone in Kent, Smithy. The name means, sorry mate, I didn't see you. The power from two motors, the wheels from go-karts, the ah. weapon is operated by a luxury car seat actuator, but in the last series they had radio signal problems. Uh oh That meant they went out to Rattus Rattus. Despite looking good, promising, it was the end for Smitzy. Hi, I'm Mike from hmm. Team Ixian. This is Robin and Andy and his Smidzy. Upgraded from the last one. We've got definitely not side losing. panels instead of aluminium. I'm between them and overdoing We've lowered right the gearing now. so it'll steer better. The jaw motor is powerful enough to lift another robot up while we're pushing along. We can run right way up or upside down. We've got spikes on the back to do extra mm. damage. Called Smidzy. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. If you're a biker or a cyclist, you know exactly what that means. <laughs> um... I'll say Smitzy goes out. Place your bets. GTI, Lorry, Bert, I want to see Overkill launch somebody. Controls. Like they said. Lorry's dad, Lawrence, watching on from the audience. Hey. Smitzy. Yeah, I'm picking the them to go out. Team there the controls, Robin Place Bennett, your bets. Glasses and panic attack with Kim Davis. Very good driver. And the two boys, Michael Davis, his son, and Christian Bridge. Three. All right. Christian actually won a competition to take part in the panic attack team and nudged there on overkill immediately uh -oh. from the front lifting forks. We've seen them before in the wars. Now on the attack of over on overkill again. With, uh oh. Uh, Smitzy and look at the damage caused here to the arena floor. Oh man! And wow, the floor. Taken out. Please replace your dimmits. What the fuck? GTI. Trying to get back. Oh, the there we go. On the attack on panic attack and also on Smitzy. Oh. Don't forget, Smitzy can run upside down. Oh, panic nice. attack wedging over uh -oh. against the side spike now. That's a they good might be done. Panic attack. As I said before, Kim Davis is one of the most respected drivers in the wars. Here he is, nudging Smidzy. Overkill still. Oh, are they the out? Arena wall. In comes Matilda. Overkill going nowhere at this moment in uh -oh. time. Lifted up by Panic Attack. Oh, my attack. God. Tremendously powerful. Those fork lifts. Jesus. Overkill a little bit fortunate to get away. I haven't seen Still anyone alive. ever in a house Smitty robot do that. The sandwich there. Ooh. And flicked over. That won't bother them. Overkill away from the flame pit. Little lick of flame Overkill's there. Overkill's losing right now. They're okay. Overkill. And don't forget, they are inflammable, they tell us. The motor's yeah, rewound. Pick it on Teflon and Nomex insulation. But I haven't been paying attention to Smitty. Overkill's trying to use its stream on the oh, arena sidewall to get away. I'm not too sure if they can for all the insulation. Can't be stuck on the... They're stuck, aren't they? Panic attack, a little nudge. Down comes Overkill. We bit fortunate to get away wait, wait, there. Wait, wait, wait. From the controls. Oh, no, it's free. The bearded Mike Reed looking out. This is Overkill. Onto yeah, the they're wall, done. And dead metal coming in on the shore. The circular saw blade comes down. Now. Oh, there we go. On the overkill GTI. Oh. Panic oh. Still got it at the moment, withstanding that pressure. Smitzy pushes. Panic attack is really good. Panic attack or panic attack, but they simply reverse to come in with another slam. On Overkill's Smitzy. not dead. Panic attack doing all the aggressive work here. If you had to pick the most troubled robot of these three, I'd go for Overkill. Yeah. They're being pushed against the arena wall right now, down towards the CPZ, the corner patrol zone. Don't forget that's where the house robots live. You go in there, they can attack you. Uh -oh. That's Killalot nearly attacking Smitty again. Overkill is one of those tires been punctured. They seem rather lopsided. Get into the hard shoulder. Yeah, they're voice. done. Call out one of the rescue services. I think you're going to need them. Panic attack. A bit of a tug of war with Smitty. They've been impressive so far with Robin Bennett, a computer can. Controller, I don't know how much Smithy has done, but Panic Attack's Spanning been really impressive. Just away from Sergeant Bash, away from the arena wall, and that's the first time we've seen the uh, Smithy jaws operated, and it goes to the judges. Smithy didn't do much, but Overkill just got their asses kicked. All three teams. There they are. They'll deliberate. Yeah, Overkill's out easy. Count up the marks for style, control, damage, and aggression. What clues have you got? Well, that's Overkill being slammed against the arena wall. Yeah, Smitty that's a pretty easy one. Very late on. Let me close this thing. Well, the judgment's in, and it's over and out for Overkill. Yep. They depressed as hell. Well, you lost to a pretty worthy opponent, did oh, you not? Oh, certainly did. The winner of the second wars.
Yeah, very good team. Wow, well, they won the second. I can see why. Their robot looks kick ass. Well, there you go. The king's a great guy. And, you know, both good teams. But lovely kids. Are you gutted? Marginally gutted, yeah. I was hoping for better, but you know. He's got it because he has that haircut. <laughs> you know. And any changes for next wars? Um, I haven't really talked about it yet. Meet me. Well, I think you should be. You haven't got long. But These things take years to build. But it still works. <laughs> it didn't last year. Oh, but you've been a great team. We've enjoyed having you here. See you next wars. Thanks. Stop. Hey. Ah. Oh. Uh, you always had a sense, though, that it would be over and out for overkill. Smitty and Panic Attack go through. Next up, Oblivion and Sore Point against them. That's Oblivion 2 to you. Ready to bust some moves in the melee. We have Agrobot. Two. Oh, my two wheelchair motors here. My favorite thing about it is the crossbow powered Zonka. The Next Zonka? Effect. Total penetration. It's cross. Moving on. We have Oblivion. Totally oblivious to pain. Titanium, aerospace grade aluminium. Stop punching everybody's Air robot, lady. Oblivion. And uh, powered by two Sinclair C5 motors. Hope they have more luck than supplies. And headed up by Steve here. What is our that? Private investigator who's the driver, but he should really be the tactician, don't you think? Well. We have sore point, and it will be for some because these here are just the wheels. The real damage is caused by the harpoon here. It splits and twists. And there will be wailing. Why is there a tennis ball on it? Oh, it'll probably just been protected. From Dorking and seated number 20, Agrobot. Hmm. Three brothers built this using steel aluminium alloy up a skip to electric wheelchair motors again. And the secret weapon, the hydraulic Zonka, a crossbow which punches holes in anything. What's this capable of? Is a Zonker actually wars, what that's called? Defeating highly fancied Razor, an astonishing star. Razor thought they'd won, but they got stuck in the pirouette of delight. Oh, they beat Razor? Wow. I'm Peter. This is Bob. This is John. We're the Leech Brothers. This is Agrobot 2, <laughs> the product of nine months' hard work since the end of the last wars. Wow. It's got a lifting nose and a spike at the back end, which inflicts damage like 20 millimeter bullet holes. This is what we're here for, to do damage, serious damage to other robots. Nothing else but. Wrong London. That guy gives us serial killer vibes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> two brothers at school of titanium, dural, and polycarbonate. The drive motors come from a C5, the armor from aerospace materials, and the electric axe can send anything to oblivion. Hi, we're Team Trinity, and this is our robot oblivion. It's, it's four wheel drive, as you can see, and it's got two Sinclair C5 motors driving the robot. Our main weapon is this whopping big axe. Whoa! Which is powered by a seriously large motor, so we're up to do some serious damage at that. So, what can I say? The house service better watch out. Bat from Burnham on Crouch in Essex. Saw point. The only new machine huh. is the front line of Robot Wars in this heat wheelchair motor powered, made from mild steel and polycarbonate. The weapons are ramming spike, snow plow, and those saw point blades. Is that thing gonna work? Hello, my name's Steve, and this is my team member Damien, and this is our machine saw point. Controversial design, large yeah. 60 centimeter saw blades as uh, part of the weaponry. We've got a front impaling spike, and we've also got a rear ram. The whole machine works upside down as well, so if we get flipped over, basically it doesn't really affect us. Yeah, very mean machine. I feel like that's not going to work. I'll, I'll take saw point out, because I'm not sure if it's going to work. Place your bets. Robotiers, stand by. Thrash em, trash em, the message for Agrobot with the Leech brothers at the controls. That's Peter Leech at the left hand side and Saw Point with Stephen Thomas there on the right, Damien Smith on the All left, right. and Oblivion 2 from Wellington in Surrey with the Belendron family. There's Dad Sapai on the right. Ole. Oblivion 2 test their robot on the street. The neighbors have complained about the noise. Oblivion 2 under attack immediately from Sawpoint. Wonderful wheels. Okay. Great creation. Oh, hey! Why? Oblivion 2 going nowhere. <laughs> Sawpoint. <laughs> what are they doing on those blades? They're all over the place. Yeah, that's my thing. Race in an old Hollywood matinee. Here they come between Agrobot and Oblivion. Oblivion's just smacking. It's up and over. Hurdle race. Super stuff, Sawpoint. I hope they go all the way. 
They won. Agrabot on the attack. Swordpoint driving in on Dead Metal. That's Sergeant back. Oblivion 2. Oblivion's Seems out. To be immobilized yeah. Right from the start here, the Belendron team. I, I think Swordpoint actually killed it immediately. And Sophia, their did it, did it slice one of the things in half? The like, stationary, aren't they, Oblivion? One of the four. This is Agrabot under pressure from Swordpoint. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Agrabot here against the circular sword blades. There's a little spike. Do you see that out of the oh. front there of Agrabot? The captive crossbow hydraulic zonka, but this is not what Oblivion 2 wants to see because Killalot has it at its mercy. Oh my Blends. god! It discards it across the arena floor. The soft point's and interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to work in the top of the watch. For them. To be fair, he so ran him over uh, immediately. And now Dead so. Metal comes in. I mean, that's that oh, Look at that slicing through. And saw point from the wobbly start has pushed Agrabot 2 into CPZ. It's all over, of course, for Oblivion 2. A little bit tattered and tarnished. The house robots come in for their play. There's the pit. We know that's Meanwhile, over here. Circular saws. Saw point weapons. There on Agrabot and Oblivion 2. Down the pit. Any moment now. Come on. I wonder if they can retain their weaponry. This is Agrabot. A little <laughs> nudge of the head. They know they're safe. He's like, what the fuck? The whole head. He's hydraulic. There's the axe. Put him in a pit, you idiots. Thank you. Built at Trinity School in Croydon and beaten by our own Trinity of House Robots. The Taking Belanger 17 boys, minutes to get the fucking thing in there. Not too sure about those saw point boys, though. Oblivion obliterated. Agrobot and saw point go through. GG. Hard luck for the Oblivion team, but it's Agrobot 2 and Saw Point who go through with Panic Attack and Smitty. The seeds kept apart in the next round. The attack meets Saw Point and Agrobot 2. Oh, against okay. Smitty. Well, I mean, that's a good so test for Saw Point. I just side. said I don't think they can do anything against the top competition. Um, when, we, when we hit Saw Point, uh, the front of the we'll road got find bent, out. which meant that it lifted our wheels off the floor and we couldn't move. What about mm. some more ground clearance for the next wars? Um, yeah, it would be a good idea. It's just there's a really fine uh, tolerance because uh, you saw last year Chaos 2 won by flipping people over, and so we thought we could overcome that this year by having a very low, low ground clearance, but it didn't work for us this year. You do need luck in Robot Wars, it's yeah. not all about tactics. Yeah, obviously, um, and our axe is working as well until um, Sawpoint managed to chop that off as well, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so you, had, you couldn't, wouldn't you, work from the transmitter? No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. What can I say? Back for more next war. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> well, for our surviving robots, it's time for some contemplation. But I want devastation. Bet. It's our pinball warrior tournament. What's the point anymore, though? Let Gemini in. Break time is getting short. Only two robots to go to depose Gemini from the top of our leaderboard. 255 points, a mighty score, though. But let's give our penultimate challenges a go. From Woking in Surrey, Invertebrate. Test hey, of driver's skill, control, pace. Lots of points to be gained Robot around the arena floor. Veterans of Robot Wars in Three, the past, the Invertebrate team. Two, one. Five points for each barrel knocked over. That's the normal course. Okay. The competing Not robots. A good start. The Pimble Warrior Challenge. Bit hesitant. There we are. So that's 15 points already gained. Then all around the arena, you have target boards guarded by the house robots. There's Bash. If you can get that huge that's not going into well. a pit, that's 25 points, but no one's done it yet. This isn't a great run so far from no. Invertebrate. Open those car doors. You'll get 25 points. They seem to be caught in two minds. All so right. 25 points for the car doors. Well done the CPZ back through the doors now you see that ramp if you can get up and over the ramp with a successful run you can get 20 points for crossing the nice. 50 points down the side of the arena oh shit Matilda a little nuts from behind and 50 points gained now away towards well I thought they were going towards the multi-ball release there top of your picture they don't know what to do Why do they veer away turning slowly this is a very ponderous run. Cease. That was Too weird. Slow. Indecisive. Not enough points on the board, I'm afraid. Disappointing that one. Right from the start, tentative nudge at the barrels, I thought. And, and where from here then, boys? Well, the sphere, many robots get that down the pit. Yes, 25 points scored. 
for the open car doors. Stuttering. That was very strange. They'll be disappointed. I make it rough tally, 95 points. We'll wait to see if that's confirmed. It won't alter the leaderboard at all. And it'll leave Gemini still on top. 255 Whoa. points. 95 points confirmed for Invertebrat. Only Kilohertz now to challenge those leaders. Let's go, Kilohertz. Let's go. Hey, oh. If you're all very, very good, we'll have more psychopathic pinball carnage soon. But right now, it's back to the wars. Craig, a reminder of All the right. semi-finals here. Agrobot 2, the CD robot against Smitty and Panic Attack number 4 seeds against the newcomer Sawpoint. Kim, you've been here many times before, haven't you? We we'll have, yeah. <laughs> We've got a newcomer. Are you getting tense for the rest of the team? Because they're probably pretty calm. They've been here before, yes. haven't they? Yes. You're tense. Mm. Have you ever faced a robot like the one you're about to face before? No, it's really weird. It's got great big discs. It is weird, yeah. For wheels, uh, a pointy thing on the front. It's mm -hmm. going to be difficult. I don't know what to do with it yet. So. Well, they've apparently got about eight inches of ground clearance, but who knows what that means? Well, we go straight underneath it. I'm <laughs> hoping to just chuck it out the arena if we can. Yeah. That works. With those spikes, I think you're in with a pretty good chance. There's a lot more than eight inches there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. Stephen, our tactician. Yes. Going into the arena now. Absolutely. What tactics can you have against panic attack? I think it's going to be panic, panic, and, and attack. <laughs> really? Yeah. Panic, <laughs> run away. Uh, I have to say, his spikes look a little bit larger than your ground clearance. Yeah, yeah. But um, we'll run over them and can you draw a straight forward, please? Thirty plus. It's all happening. And there you go. There's panic attack waiting for you. I'm going to leave you to it. This is too tense. <laughs> All right. I don't think Sawpoint have a chance, but I, I want to see how they show. Who knows? Panic attack. Winners of the second wars. There's Kim Davis, very experienced and. I just don't know if they can beat legit oh, competition. In the pits there. Go on, boys, get out into the arena. Let's find out though. Panic attacks tactics here, quite clear, I would imagine. Get in, get underneath, flip it up. And oh, 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 the oh. Power there of Panic attacks like the most and legit robot I've seen in a while. Couldn't get in underneath the web. Oh, so well. Can do with a second assault, though. Sawpoint on his side. Oh, he's going to meme on you, bro. Oh, my God. Panic attack, look at that. Wow. I think the pro on the wheel at Sawpoint was dug into the arena oh surface, God. and Panic Attack has really bent and buckled it. Fuck. Now onto the arena side wall. Fuck. Sawpoint's up, up, <laughs> Here we go. Weep and woe. Fuck. Sawpoint surely. Kim Davis. Oh. the bone. Will not give up now. Sawpoint riding piggyback. Oh my they need God. to ride shotgun here and get back in on the assault. Man, he's literally manhandling him. control here. They glued oh. themselves on yeah. to sword point. They will not let go now. There's oh, Kim thing, Davis at the controls. Strong. His son Michael from Shantanum Comprehensive looks on and Christian Bridge, the newcomer from King's this School in Lackensfield, delighted. Like, because they know legit sword control. point. Brave newcomers. Been it's been a while since I've seen a bot that I'm like, yeah, this could do, this could legit win this for him. Like, this thing's a legit fucking thing. Oh my god, he's dead, bro. Love the invention now of Stephen Thomas, the communications engineer, and Damien Smith. That thing's crazy. Design the robot, uh, did the graphics for Sawpoint as well. This is dead metal, of course. A pincer movement from the house robots. They Man. now know. Sawpoint, Stephen Thomas and Damon Smith, you belong to them. Dead metal on the right and kill a lot on the left. And Sawpoint being tugged and twisted between the two. That's what she said. There they go. Towards the pit. And doom and disaster. Well, no. Not for me, for Sawpoint. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hope you see them back again in the future. Whoa, 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 whoa! That kill a lot will remember that, Kim. Y'all gotta chill. Saw a point, of course, beaten and out of it. Kim Holy Davis, shit! Michael and Christian go through. Kill a lot. That's a little glance. Whoa, 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 whoa! Watch on. 
As the Welsh boys attack, shunt and the house robot. Holy shit! Here comes Bash. What are you doing, panic attack? You what the smile. fuck? He's smiling on the other side of our faces. You wait and see. God damn. Well, panic attack are definitely back. Saw point in the. That's place. a statement, my guy. Through. This fight was like, I'm not like. This might be. <laughs> Why am I shaking? Man, Why is he shaking your hand? <laughs> Absolutely. It's been well, so it long since be. I've seen a robot where a it's like point. this it thing could again. fucking Just win it. This fourth scene. This is a legit Yeah, what well, if you're gonna lose to someone? I guess it's gotta be to someone good, hasn't it? So he's. What was the design of that robot? I mean, are those saws. How, how how hard are they? Well, they they, they are extremely hard. Is uh, in all the punishment, there's probably the only two bits I'll be able to salvage out of all of this. But uh, yeah. yeah, as I said, it'll them versus chaos two sounds design, wild. So I will be back. Panic attack. Uh, Watch them lose in the final now. <laughs> I was convinced. No, I, I can't see it. Arena. So, <laughs> I think this gentleman was convinced I was going out. There. You almost point, were. Oh, he? You were almost there. there. He tried so hard. Yeah, so it was the pit of oblivion instead. It certainly was, yeah. We'll yeah, see you next time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, sure. saw point. Good job, Liz. Yes. <laughs> you naughty, naughty boys. I mean, not only were you not content with wrecking that saw point, <laughs> but then you had to try and... Get kill a lot in the pit. That was you awesome. Shunt. Now you remember, you remember, don't you? That kill a lot's got a long memory. Got they fuck memory shut up, bro. Oh, oh he's a driver. It's not. I'll blame it on me dad. Um, I, I was convinced we were going to get him out of the arena. I, we really yeah, tried, but just couldn't get him out. So I tried about three times. I it was this close, bro. Go over the top. He gave you gave him a piggyback for ages as well. Yeah, I thought we'll do a lap of honor with him. <laughs> <laughs> and then they opened the pit. So you're getting very cocky, though. Getting very cocky, taking on Kill a lot. You think he's going to forget about that? No, he's not going to forget. We can look out next round. <laughs> well, we've seen ah, it before. Fuck him. You know, I've always said to you that you know everyone's always un underestimated your robot, but, but we're not underestimating it now, are we? No you? shit. So learn that way. Yeah. No, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Some fights to come. I think so. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, this is great. Are you confident? Not really, but as <laughs> usual, we, you know we'll see how we go. We'll give it a go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for Panic Attack. <laughs> Man. Point of packing Was that the same crowd home. shots before? Yeah. Now, I might add that if you'd spent less time nosing into other people's business <laughs> and more looking into the opposition, you might have done better. Well, there is always that, but when you come up with a sort of unconventional Why design, get a roast you do like tend that? to pay the price, and this was it. See, also, but, this is uh, a weird camera angle. What the fuck? a concept here, deep down, and yeah, we sustained a lot of damage, and I think yeah, it's, it's this way. We can just build a new one and start again, really. Oh, why not? They were tough competition, though, weren't they? Let's well, check out the damage they did to you. It starts really from the damage to the actual wheels themselves. Uh, they all had a very good blow. It's all sort of front facial network, the lid. It's it's all both... He got hold of you and basically sort of carried you. Yeah, he was, he was just. Yeah, I know, it was terrible. And you were the ones it? wailing in that oh, arena, oh. weren't you? And yeah, and then the house robots done their little bit. They sort of decided to chop the whole back end off, which was really nice of them. Because and they can. Because they can. This is very true. I think I actually done very well considering the opposition. Good. <laughs> Good, you have. They were the number four seed. They were the number four seed, and uh, I should have been higher. As I said, I, I've enjoyed it, so I just think, yeah, I'll lick my wounds, learn by my mistakes, and uh, come and you'll back be back. Now. I'll for be back. More ways. Yeah, we will see. Uh, Sore point. Again. Again. Definitely. We hope so. Oh, you will. Well done, bro. Why are you getting so close? Glad to hear that. Sore point. She was will like, be back. she was real Not close, bro. No panic attack going through to the heat final to me either. Smitty. He needs to calm down. Agrobot 2, number 20 seeds. This is going to be an interesting one because you're very evenly matched. Who gets the right you? to lose no, the panic so, attack? Yeah, we look, look, look to be the same sort of robot. Mm. Same sort of sides, work both ways up. Which we'll see. But we're a nicer colour. You're a beautiful colour. Absolutely. You so are, yeah. Down to power. Do you know what's inside theirs? What's inside theirs? I've only got four wheels, so we? Really. Ours are bigger. Your wheels are bigger. Our wheels are bigger. Well, it's going to be power, isn't it? And it's going to be driving. Who's in control? He is. It's down to me, yeah. On your head, I, I'm and, uh, walking home tonight, yeah. Let's just hope they don't see you coming. Hi. Bro, she's drunk as hell. <laughs> <laughs> they floor with us? They said they're going to smash you and pound you, put you in the house, robot. She's fucking wasted, bro. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Listen, now, you're quite evenly matched, aren't you? Um, yes. You're slightly smaller. Yeah, we've got about the same sort of pushing power. We've got similar weapons. It's it's going to be down to a bit of luck, driver skill. We'll see how it goes. Could go to the judges. Get in there and do your damnedest. Thank you. 
<laughs> um. Agrobot, I guess. That's Schmitzy. Slightly the smaller, but the, the two. Oh. There's Mike Reed on the right hand side, all smiles, and Agrobot too. Don't forget they have that hydraulic Zonker. Bob on the right. Of the yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll invest in the Zonker. Why not? And what's for sure for the Leech Brothers, it won't be a hair raising experience. Let's be honest about things. Agrobot two on the right hand side. Now on the left of your picture, oh, Smitty okay. comes in on the attack side by side. Smitty he's on fire. Oh, he's on fire. Ooh, he's on fire. The he's there. all the way on fire. Okay. And graphics charcoal effect now on the top of Smitty. Sorry, mate. Didn't see you there, says Agrobot as it turns away. Smitty with a little bit of a broadside on Agrobot. Smitty has the jaws operated by the. Bro, neither of these dudes are beating Daddy Jack. Agrobot 2 has the hydraulic zone. <laughs> whoever whoever advances is getting fucked on, bro. Of the machine as it comes in on the attack now with the lifting nose cone. Trying to get in underneath Smitty. That'll be difficult. It's got a one inch oh. adjustable ground clear at Smitty. And they ram Agrobot 2 Good job. against the arena side. Well, don't forget Agrobot capable of beating Razor. In the last wars, and Razor, a phenomenal machine. But it's Smitzy yeah. here doing all the work. Mike Reed to the left hand side. Smitzy's Robin winning. Bennett's actually at the controls right now. Andy Pugh, the weapons operator. And it's Smitzy here on top of this heat semi final for me. Against yeah, they're winning. In underneath Agrobot. Agrobot, the little pig. Agrobot's not really doing nothing. Under the arena floor, over the flame pit in the end. So that's good style and control and aggression from Smitzy. I think they're out. They're, on top they're done. The judge. I'm sure of that. The yeah, that's it. Wow. Oh, no, no, they're free, they're free. The university degrees. Uh, well, no, they're done. Sometimes. Uh, this is Smitty now with a little slam yeah, on Yeah, they're done. Again, in towards the CBZ. The Agrobot boys trying to crane their neck. Yeah, they're done. And Agrobot on fire, it seems. They're done. Because the fire burnt itself out. The fire burnt. The crumpling jaws. Agrobot finished here. The sweat. Rip. On the brows of the Leeds brothers, Peter, Bob, and John, and they know their dream has come to an end. Sweet so dreams the are made of these. Who am I to disagree? And it's the end for Agrobot on the arena oh. floor flipper. Just about nudged away by Dead Metal, but it's it's tattered. Vince is not bad. He's going to get fucked on by Dead Metal, but he's not bad. No luck with the throw that I see there for Agrobot today. What on earth is that sort of stuffing in there in the nose? Yeah, what is that? Looks like foam rubber. Kind of. Can't be. Surely they wouldn't have stuffed that in there. It is, you know, I think. Well, they're out. Agrobot 2. Yeah. Disappointing for them. But a very good performance, I thought, by Smitzy. Underrated machine these boys have. Good job. Well, Agrobot is an Agro Burger. Smitzy uh, through to the heat finals. Good job. Ooh. Only got beat a little bit. <laughs> what can I say, Em? Hi. I think Agrobot's got agrophobia now because he's not going to be going out for a while, is he? <laughs> well, uh, I think he needs a little bit of paintwork. Oh, I tell you, um, you took an awful lot of damage there, didn't you? Oh, well, it's not really a four, isn't it? True, true, true. You seem to take uh, it in good spirits as well. Well, we have a few spirits when we're making it. That's why I don't <laughs> <laughs> Nice to see you back again. Ladies and gentlemen, Agrobot! With well, a name like Smidzy, you expect to be like a little kitten or something like that. But there's nothing kittenish. About that robot, isn't it? Uh, and it's the Yorkshire Terrier. <laughs> it's it's, the battler, isn't they're it? not bad. It, it's one, got a real bad matchup. They're not going to be panic attack. Them. It's not yeah, happening. We, we thought it'd be really close, and it was mm. down to driving. Robin was just stunning. We're just in and in and in. Excellent. They got an oh, unfortunate heat. Did have a lot of hand from the, from the house robots though, because they lost drive and power, and then the house robots yeah, came they, in and they they, 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 drive. End, they? they did the big We stay hungry. We do that. Well, I wouldn't get too. We got nicely char grilled. I wouldn't get too comfortable because you're meeting panic attack in the next yeah. round. We're very scared. <laughs> yeah, you should that be. It's going to be a serious, serious battle. I'm looking forward to it. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, here it for Smidgey. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Good team. Good machine. Smidgey through and the seeded Agrobot 2. They crash out. 
So the final of this heat, the very much fancied panic attack against the underrated Smidzy. Yeah. Interesting, that's for sure. Well, we're sitting here relaxing with the panic attack team before they go into the arena. Um, did you think Saw Point were really tough opposition for you? Uh, not really. Um, <laughs> They weren't very fast. Uh, they were very vulnerable to attacks. They yeah. didn't have much of a weapon. So uh, we haven't seen you at your best yet, have we? Mm, possibly. <laughs> mm, well, I think Smidzy were quite tough in the last battle. Oh, Smidzy's going to be a different kettle of fish altogether. I think. It's, if we pick him up and turn him over, he can still run. He's very small, so the forks will just chuck him out. Him up, but the, the, the wheels will still be able to run. So he's going to be very tough. Really? Yeah. Oh, could this be the end for Panic Attack? Oh no, it's not going to be the end. Yeah. It's just going to be tough to beat. That's all. all right. <laughs> but he's fully capable. Go team. She's wasted, Listen, bro. She's wasted. Seem to have the Panic Attack boys a little bit worried. Hard to say why, really. They're just very much similar design to us, only better. So why should they be worried? Oh, maybe they were just being modest then. Oh, they're better drivers and they've got the cute kids on their team, which is always an advantage in this game. Don't put yourselves down. Now is not the time. You need to pick yourselves up. You've got a great robot. We've got the better paint job this time. Well, we are some medium rare. They've done us well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, go into the arena, do your damnedest, and I'm sure you'll get there. Thank you very Thank you. much. Good luck, boys. This is how they got to the final panic attack with Smidzy defeating Overkill. Then saw points as we've just seen. Very nearly out of the Yeah, they're way now, almost Smithy there. were very impressive. Direct in that attack on Overkill. And against Agrobot, what a performance this was. Yeah, I did. Again, they're good. Like, so we reach they could beat three. a lot of Two people who want eat, I think, honestly. Two more about to set the but they're not going to beat Panic Fighting for a place It's in not going to happen. Semifinals. It's a shame, because a lot of these people that want to like mouse crap over the top. They can beat them. But they're, yeah, they're, they're not. It's, it's not happening. They're not going to be playing. What is that? From Swiffer. Gubran and seed number four, Panic Attack. Was there a nervousness about the number four seeds from Wales? Maxton in Kent, Smidzy. There's certainly a confidence about these boys, Andy Pugh. We heard him speak a moment ago from Sheffield University. He's in the engineering department. Good luck, boys. That's panic attack. With the front lifting forks, Kim Davis, his son Michael and Christian Bridge, and Smidzy. There on the right hand side, Mike Reed. Andy in the middle, Robin Bennett on the left hand side. He'll drive the machine. Two, one. All right. It's built inflatable oh. helicopter blades, Robin Bennett. Yeah, we'll try and work that one out. This is Smitty. Okay. The attack straight away against the number four seeds. They've got those new skirts. They're doing what they have to. Series to stop other robots getting in underneath Panic Attack. Okay. Improvements all the while from Kim Davis. Uh -oh. The fingers do the talking okay. there very quickly. Smitty up and over. But again, direct, aggressive. They're doing Panic good. Panic Attack wants to draw Smitty on. Towards an arena wall, I would suggest, so oh. they can get in, flick him up, and over, and out. The moment Panic Attack just holding the arena center, I think they're trying to draw Smidzy yeah. in here, Kim Davis. They can't do that for too long, the CPZ. though. There's Robin at the controls, the computer programmer, again driving at Panic Attack. Not even at the moment. Smidzy the more aggressive, yeah, they perhaps are. Panic Attack the more controlled. Start, control, damage, aggression. The judges will mark on should it go to them. Will it go to them? Smitty away from panic attacks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 That'll count against Kim Davis. Smitty nearly got themselves into trouble. They have a big fan club here. Look. Smitty, we haven't really seen the jaws work, have we, so far? They got him. But I do no. think they've done ever so well. They had radio signal problems in the last. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh they've got him. They've got him. They've got him. That's it. Smitty, That's the it. Wheels from Go -Karts, yeah. A little bit of a gap around them. And Panic Attack oh, and that's it. have found that gap. Damn. Now, that could be the single they were doing well, too. Moment of this entire heat. Yeah, Panic they were Attack doing good. The opportunity. Wait for it. And poor old Smitty impaled and being dragged around the arena. And while they are dragged around, 
They are simply oh, man. open for anything Panic Lab wants to do. The jaws open wide. You see, they're trying to get Such those jaws down. Such a shame matchup sort of spring for them. To write themselves. They've eventually got themselves clear anyway. I thought they had, but back. Oh, they're back in it. Panic attack. Maybe Smitty. What an unfortunate match. Oh, they're going to put him there themselves. Oh, man. Damn. What an unfortunate matchup. Seriously, they could have beat so many people that one hates. They were doing so well. That's such a shame. That's such a damn shame. Last time, last time we talked, you were quite confident. Oh, we were never confident about beating Panic Attack. Well, you're a tenacious little robot. Well, They're I good. Mean, you sort of matched it for power. It's just, it's However, such a it shame. Didn't have that little lifter, and it lifted you up, and it carried you around. And the pits went open, so it just carried you around again, and then it put you down. And as soon as the pits opened. Yeah, picked you up again and see. threw you in the pits. Well, he's the granddad. He was winning them before we were thinking of building them. Like, yeah. Come on. You gotta, we're going to lose to anyone. We might just sort of lose to a previous winner. So, I mean, since you've been looking at the robots... That's a good way of looking at it. The ...design flaws that you think you can put right for the next wars? Um, bits and bobs. That's that's up to him. Yeah. It's The duel's a really good weapon, but just far too slow. Yeah. It needs to be faster. It needs to be powerful. faster. Yeah. I mean, I like the way they work. They do, they do nice. They do interesting things. They yeah. got us off the barrier in early about really nicely. They're just too slow. Yeah, but we can get there. We can do that. That's, uh... You guys are from all over the country, aren't you? You kind of met on the internet. Yeah, we're yeah. from everywhere. All right. Ken, sorry, we, we, had York, sure. we hadn't met before we decided to build the robot. We, and did you wow. build it over the internet? I mean, were all the ideas exchanged over the internet and things? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the ideas for it. We, you just talk, we did more talking That's than awesome. God knows what about what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And then people build stuff, post it to Andy, and it all comes together. And, works <laughs> it was a phenomenal effort it's what robot yeah. wars is all about That's i such hope a you come damn back for the next wars yeah. ladies and gentlemen let's hear it for smidgey such a damn shame they got they got this heat are you looking at all that for? I'm in awe. I'm in awe. I mean, that was easier than you thought it was going to be, wasn't it? It wasn't really? easy at all. Are you um, sure? Yeah, it looked easy. It was easy. Really difficult to catch, and actually, it, the only way we could get it is get it in the gap between the wheel and the bodywork. And you got him. We, we were lucky Put him in a pit yourself. Bro. Anyway, anyway, it just... twice, so I mean, that's not luck, is it? I mean, that's by design. <laughs> and what do you think of your dad's driving skills in that, then? I mean, the driving yeah. skills, they were brilliant, weren't they? I mean, your driving skills, I mean, you, you, you can, you're such a better driver now. Wait, well, which one's the, the son? Last war, it was. <laughs> Virtually uncontrollable. I couldn't position it, but now we've put a gyro in it. It's, mm. It actually goes where I want it to go, so it's a lot better. Yeah. Oh, yeah that Series semi-finals. You've been there before. Again. Yeah. <laughs> You're not nervous. No. They're legit, bro. What do you feel about being in the series semi-finals? It's exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You looking forward to it? Yes. Have you got a feeling that you might go all the way again this time? I don't know. You don't know. Fingers mm -hmm. crossed, eh? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen. The ex champions, let's hear it! What? For panic attack! Why is put the mic in a <laughs> What are you, you doing? TP, you'll find Indian squaws wishing they had a telly to watch Robot Wars. Bye bye. I don't know about that one. Bro, legit, that's just so unfortunate for Smidzy. Of all the heats to get, you get the one where you're matched up with a legit contender. That sucks so much. There's so... I, I've seen some rough heats recently. There's so many recent heat winners that they could have beat. I'd take them over a lot of the recent heat winners. Seriously. They have a good robot. And they were taking it to them. They were winning. And then they just got caught. And that was it. Panic Attacks... Panic Attacks legit, man. They're really going to be a legit contender in this. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up in the final. I don't know if they can beat Chaos 2, but I think they're... If, if they're going to beat Chaos 2, but I think they're capable... Like, they're, they're legit. They're honestly legit. I hope we see that matchup. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's super unfortunate for Smitzy. What a fucking brutal heat to get. What a brutal heat to get. That's a damn shame. Well, great heat, though. Seriously. Best heat in a long time. I'm glad we got to see a, a legit contender. Someone that we, we legit believe can do damage. 
That's nice to see. We got one again, one more heat, then two semifinals and the finals. Uh, for now, though, that's going to do it for another reaction to Robot Wars 4th Wars. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave it a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitter, I stream every single day on my second channel for 15 views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me on my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, all things are in the video description down below, as well as Twitch Files channel on the community Reddit. Thank you also to all my patrons who are currently named in the video description for your constant support me on my channel. In addition to your name in there, for as little as one dollar or one pound, you can get access to, access to reaction videos as well as reading your comments up to a day early, sometimes more. For all that being said, though, uh, my name is Taffrey. Seen another reaction to Robot Wars 4th Wars, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.